ask that question. So many Democrats, as you know, Congresswoman, have sounded an alarm about the memo. They said it would be reckless to release it, and in fact, it would be incredibly dangerous. Uh, the ranking member of your committee, Adam Schiff, who of course is, is behind uh, the, the, the Democratic memo to oppose this, which has not yet been released, he said it could cause a constitutional crisis if the Nunes memo was released. And the House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said this earlier today. He has abdicated his responsibilities as commander in chief to protect the American people by protecting our intelligence sources and the rest. If the president uses this fake, horrible release of, of, uh, of distorted intelligence as an excuse to fire uh, Deputy, uh, Acting Attorney General Rosenstein or Mueller, it, it could lead to a constitutional crisis. I have two questions for you from this, but first this, Congresswoman, fake horrible constitutional crisis, uh, the DOJ saying extraordinary, reckless. What, was there just a little bit of hyperbole coming from Democrats on this? I mean, all the names in here are people we, we knew were going to be in there. Well, you know, we have a new normal in this country. And unfortunately, because the president spews out fake uh, for virtually everything, I mean, it's, it's becoming part of our vernacular. This is a phony memo. And the, the problem is that to really understand it, you have to release the FISA application. That's 50 pages long. And 50 that's pages. the slippery slope that we're, going, that we're going to be going down if we're not careful here. So I just think that what we really need to focus on is what makes this democracy real? I mean, what makes it free? What, what makes it strong? And if you look at the institutions that the president has attacked, the Department of Justice, the FBI, the judiciary, and the media. I mean, I would argue that all of those institutions are part of what makes this country free. And the democracy is going to start to erode. And you've got Vladimir Putin there smiling. I mean, it's like the, the, he gave Donald Trump the script on which to uh, move forward on this, this crazy memo skate. And I would say that, you know, if you look at Devin Nunes and what he did last year and look what he's done this year, he has really set himself up to be too biased to serve as chair of this committee.